We are moving! Office. I came to pick up my material. This is the dough. You guys, it's finally happening. I'm saying we because um this like the whole thing just took a really different turn. I have two of my sisters currently living with me in my house. So everything about my house hunting my moving in and everything just kind of took a different tone i'm going to tell you guys about it as you know we go into this vlog but just know that i have been processing a lot of feelings for a couple of days now i've had feelings of um anxiety i've been anxious i've been excited i've been happy i've been sad i've been confused i've been unsure i've overthinked a lot of things what's the past tense of overthink overthunk <laughs> but what i'm trying to say is a lot of emotions have been running wild like i've had a lot of emotions but hopefully everything is going to turn out right and you guys are going to get to see the whole process this is officially like the last days in this house i don't know how many weeks the vlog is going to be but maybe this vlog and the next vlog would probably just be my last days in this house but yeah guys we're moving okay we're moving angelo Koli is no longer going to scream and cry and talk about space all the time on her channel that's so exciting that's really exciting so yeah welcome to a new vlog guys welcome to the moving series welcome to the start of a new the journey to the start of a new era vlog something like that yeah um i got my skincare products guys i've been struggling with my skin and somehow i kept telling myself that oh when i eventually move i'm going to now take time to you know like work on my skin and everything and i'm happy that the time is getting closer but before then i knew i had to buy my skincare products so here we have my skincare product i've gone back to my old soap i cannot even deal this particular soap that i bought i was doing what they call it in yoruba alaroro i was doing cheap but my skin wasn't looking for cheap yeah so i had to buy them so i'm going to do a quick unboxing with you guys and then finish making my food i'm cooking rice rice and beans i haven't made that dish in a long while but yeah that's what i'm making today this is going to be a weekly vlog by the way so i'm going to carry you guys through the process everything that's going to be happening i'm not sure when we're moving yet but it most likely will be next week so this week we're going um we're going to start packing up our stuff little by little i'm thinking of moving them i wanted to see if we could move everything at once but at the same time i think we're just going to move bits i don't know everything is just going to play out eventually you guys oh my baby i have missed you <laughs> i'm so sorry i am never changed like i'm never changing this soap again i don't know what i was thinking trying different products because this obviously works for me and even though the price increased it still doesn't make sense because that previous soap eh, it has destroyed my skin i have used it for the past going to two months now if not more than two months and my skin has still not recovered so i already know that the soap is affecting me 
So I decided to get my baby bath. Okay, so this is the topic cream gentle cleanser. This is it. So then the second one is my dove body wash, guys. I got my body wash back. That only that I bought. <laughs> When I was giving you guys the gist of what happened to me in the supermarket and I ended up buying that only. I just knew I wasn't going to use it for long because it's my skin doesn't actually like that soap. I don't know how I managed to use it back then, but I think I don't know. I just wasn't really so good with skincare compared to now. Next is this. This is a product I've been wanting to try for a very long time. This is the Dove Exfoliating Exfoliating What? Body polished with crushed macadamia and rice milk they have a lot of varieties this particular one i've been wanting to try it and i've seen a lot of reviews so i'm like okay why not this looks like a perfect opportunity to try it so yeah then i told myself i wasn't going to try new products right but guess who decided to try something new me so this dove this is the first time i'm introducing this into my routine but i don't i'm not worried about it because i already used the body wash so yeah, and my skin, like my body is not as sensitive. My body is actually not that sensitive. My face is what I struggle with when it comes to sensitivity, right? So this is the next product. This is the new product I am introducing to my routine. This is the Tiam Snail and Azulene Water Essence. If you use Cosrex, yeah, Cosrex um, Snail Essence, and you're looking for something to use in place of cost regs you can actually buy this i've also seen lots of reviews online and right now that cost is so cost it's so expensive why would i buy cost for almost twenty thousand? it doesn't even make any sense let me open this thing quickly so this is what this one and this is like a bigger bottle compared to what you have with cost so let's see uh, i love the bottle i think tiam they are just very good with their packaging their pack packaging is always very cute because that um tiam b3 niacinamide serum when they changed it to the yellow bottle it was so attractive i had to buy it and i tried it just that my skin doesn't like niacinamide and now this this is really beautiful and it has like two of my favorite colors white and purple so i'm going to try this and probably give you guys a review what i think it doesn't have any smell so this is basically just to keep my skin hydrated is an essence so it's just for hydration and last but not the least is this this is um exanic whatever i don't know but it's as a lake acid i bought this mostly because of the breakout i have on my skin so i usually would not have like pimples and stuff but this one is is terrible so i decided to buy this this is going to help clear out the breakout acne whatever it is it's actually very oh my god it's so tiny you guys look at it what is this when i saw people comment on like because before i buy products on tika's uh, website i would always go through reviews if there is any and when i saw people talk about how tiny this tube is i thought they were exaggerating this is actually very tiny Anyways, good thing is I only use it for my breakout. So once this whole thing clears out, I'll probably just leave it until I need it again. So yeah, all in all, I think this was a good buy. So the good buy. I'm really happy. Like I'm really, really happy I could finally get my face soap. This is the best soap I've used. This is actually the first. The face part that I currently use that I'm complaining about is the second one I've used. So this is my first and it's going to be my last and for me it's the best and you know the funny thing about skincare yeah um when i was talking about that face fat with my friend yeah my friend already cancelled it like never ever if she sees it anyway she's going to run away but guess what i told my younger star to try the face fat soap and it's actually working for her so the thing about skincare which i'm glad i know about which is why even though the thing was like affecting my my skin i still told my sister to try because one thing i've, I've understood about skincare is it might work for me and it might be amazing for my skin doesn't mean it's going to work for your skin and it doesn't work for me doesn't mean it's not going to work for your skin so sometimes you just find products that people love and then you try it and it doesn't work for you so the most important thing about skincare is you have to understand the ingredients that work for your skin someone like me I already know that anything there cinnamide can't try that shit <laughs> don't break me out like crazy even if it doesn't break me out to probably just make my face look some type of way so yeah it's just good to understand your skin 
skin type, ingredients that work for your skin type, and I think that's it. You'll be safe. So yeah, this is my skincare product. I am going to start using it. Hopefully, my skin is going to get back to normal. Um, at least closer to normal before we move, something like that. Even if it doesn't, I'm just glad that I have this product. So once I settle completely, I'm going to just, you know, keep doing the whole routine and probably get your facials. It's long overdue. So yeah, that's that for my unboxing. You got this. I believe in you. When somebody says, no matter what happens, whether it succeeds or fails, I'm gonna be by your side. Wow, that's, that's when I have the confidence to do difficult things. Wow. So it's the people in my life. You should recognize the potential in yourself and love yourself enough to make the changes that produce the best possible version of yourself. It is that internal goal, that internal why. And so for me, I just think that's it. Like that, like you, ah, it's just, mm. it's something within and you mm. gotta pull it out. And so it's easy when you have a why, a purpose. I'm doing it for this, I'm doing it for that. It's easy to get up and get going. But if it's just for a car, what happens Louis, when you get the car? Cause you can buy it. What happens when you get the house and you can buy the house. The only reason you're not the best right now is because you don't believe you're the best now. Hey guys, good morning. So I came to pick up some of my outfits that are here because I don't want a situation where <laughs> when it's time to move out, I'll now start looking for most of my stuff. So yeah, I'm heading back home. The road is so bad. Hey God, and my jean is touching the floor. So I'm heading home, looking for a bike. I'm so glad that the rain, the, it rains this morning, so the sun is not that bad, actually. And people are looking at me because I'm holding my phone. <laughs> I hardly vlog outside, Sha. The roads in Lagos are just terrible. I'm so oh, I live on the island, I live on the island. This is what it feels like living on the island. At least most areas on the island. It's crazy. <sighs> yeah, let's stop this particular bike now. It looks big too. Mm -hmm. big part. This is my outfit. I came to pick up my material. I don't want it to get mixed up when Sarah is packing her stuff. Uh, bike! Here you go. Junction. God. Yeah. How much? Yeah. yeah, enter. Don't be wearing that bike. Home. Okay. Jesus. I just got home now and. I don't even know, I'm just very hungry. I want to eat first before I can now put my thoughts together. So we're trying to get a moving company to like pack up our stuff. And the price they're calling in. <laughs> the price they're calling is just outrageous. I don't even I don't even understand. Like everything in Lagos is expensive. I wish we had I wish I knew someone that had a truck or something that we could easily just use to move our stuff. I just thought of something here. Yeah? You see all these guys that sell pure water? Mm. We can actually use their truck oh, and pay them smaller money. I don't know. Anybody that has truck can move. Right? Especially my my stuff. Mine is just smaller items. I think the only bulky item would be my fridge, my bed, my generator, and my shoe rack and my AC. Yeah. Every other thing are just clothes and plates and all that. But yeah, that's it. Guys, moving is stressful. I I am mentally not prepared for this, sincerely. 
and the worst part of the whole thing is that the light has suddenly become so good that deep down like somewhere inside of me i'm like do i really want to leave this place do i really want to leave this area because all of a sudden everything in my house is making sense there's constant light like we have almost 20 hours light now um i don't even like stepping out anymore because when i go out i'm reminded that oh there are so many things around you need a um, laundry um like a dry cleaner there's a shop there you want to buy something to cook there's like a mini market here you want to do your hair there's a salon just here like everything has just been easy in this house for the like the environment you know so i'm sincerely not going to act like i don't even appreciate that fact i actually appreciate that fact a lot and it's taking me moving out of this space to realize that it has actually been easy living here in this environment has actually been easy but yeah that's it that's the process so i don't even right now i'm not sure when we're going to move i don't even know when we're going to start packing our stuff but we have less than one week to live here my landlord is already ha, on my case he's even insisting that i'm going to because my rent expired since last month and right now he's insisting that i'm going to have to pay for the extra one month that i lived in and it doesn't even make any sense to me i'm still trying to figure it out but i don't like drama i sincerely hate drama i already know that if worse comes to worse i'm just going to pay him and just get the hell out of this house but yeah we'll see how that goes so that's the update so far i need to take out my hair tired but yeah that's it guys that's it it's been a roller coaster i don't know <laughs> Guys, look at my front hair. My front hair is gone. See, I was complaining the other day and wasn't making sense to anybody because everybody's used to me having lots of front hair. But this particular place is almost bald. <laughs> uh, so there was this wedding I went for in April and um, the wig I wore, I used them, um, what they call that thing? I got to be glue to glue down the wig even though it wasn't frontal i just wanted to glue it down so when i got home from the wedding i totally forgot i had glue on that wig i just yanked it off and i felt it like oh my god so i think that was what affected my front hair because i was thinking about it yesterday so right now probably do a lot of protective hairstyles you know just to get my my front hair back this braid didn't even help it at all. Ah, uh, I thought I could do this thing. No, I can't. I can't do it. I'm going to the salon. So I just want to take this off and then just do my hair all back because I do not want to look very crusty in this, um, like this moving vlog. I don't want to look crusty and this hair is not looking nice again. So I'd rather just do my Simbi hairstyle. But yeah, let's go to the salon. Because I stay here and try to do this to me more. Ah, I don't have dandruff, thank god. You can see now. So, they just bring it all back for me. Yeah, I think that's a good plan. <laughs> Something more if you would just stay here for a while. Just look in my eyes. There's more to us than we can show. And I think you know Guys, I think I cut my hair. Because look at can you see? It's longer than the oh my god angel. I keep underestimating this my hair. Just a pet. It's way longer.
Let me show.